Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how to remove these nails that have lasted over five weeks. I have no lifting at all on any of my nails, and if you would like to see how I made these nails last so long, go ahead and click the card in the top right corner to see my previous video. So the first step is to clip down all of my extensions. I'm going to use this adjustable nail clipper and I'm just going to take off the adjustable part and I'm going to clip off all the length on all of my nails. But I'm also going to make sure that I'm not clipping off any of my natural nail. This is going to make it easier to remove the extension so I don't have to file off the entire extension, only what's left after I clip off the length. Once I have all the nails clipped off, I'm going to go ahead and take my favorite nail drill from Amazon and I'm also going to take this drill bit. This drill bit is going to make it really easy to remove the bulk of my extension without hurting myself because it has a safety bit, which means it has a curved top. So if I get close to my cuticles, it's not going to hurt me. To figure out what direction I need to go in, I'm going to start off on a very low speed. Then I'm going to start filing my nail and if I see that the drill skips, I'm going to go ahead and flip the direction. And then once I figure out the right direction to go, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up by increasing the dial. And then I'm going to go ahead and start filing off my nail. When you're filing off your nail, you do not want to file off the same part over and over again. This is going to create a heat spike. So make sure you're filing a different spot on the nail each time you're using the drill. If you don't have a nail drill, you can definitely just use a nail file and start filing off the nail. This way will just take a lot longer than using the drill. I also like to use a nail file for those hard to reach places where I'm kind of afraid to use the drill on, so near my cuticles. The key to an easy soak off is to make sure you're removing the bulk of the extension, but you also want to make sure that you're not removing too much of the extension to where you hit your natural nail. Since this is my dominant hand, when I'm going to file off my thumb, I have to do the same step I did before. So I'm going to slow down the drill and then find the direction that I need to use. If I find that it's skipping, I'll flip the direction, and once I find the right direction, I'll speed up the drill and then start filing. There are two ways you can soak off your nails. The first way is using a soak off bowl. You'll fill this part with warm water. And then you'll fill this part with acetone. Then you'll dip your fingers in and you'll soak off for around 10 minutes. The second way is to use pre-made foils. And I really like using this way because the cotton pad is already attached and all you have to do is soak the cotton pad in acetone and then wrap your fingers in the foil. I really like this way because it traps all of the acetone and heat all in one place. With the soak off bowl, the acetone will eventually evaporate and the water will start to cool down. Another tip is to make sure you're using 100% acetone. If you're using nail polish remover, it will not be strong enough to soak off your nails. 
So before I start soaking off with the nail foils, I'm gonna go ahead and drench my fingers with cuticle oil. This is going to help keep moisture on my skin and nails because acetone is very drying. By using the nail foils, I feel like I'm saving the amount of acetone that I'm using. I really like using the foils because I can just wrap my fingers and then go about my day. I don't have to be stuck to my desk like I would be with the soak off bowl. After soaking off for 7 minutes, I'm going to take off the nail foil and I'm going to take my cuticle pusher. This is the same cuticle pusher I used in my previous video when removing all the dead skin on my nail. I'm going to gently scrape off the extension with the cuticle pusher. And I really like this cuticle pusher because it's so wide, I'm able to easily remove the melted off extension. If the extension is not coming off completely, I'm going to go ahead and just put the finger back into the foil so it can soak off for a little longer. Since we left, I guess it just makes sense to what the reasoning was when I said in case I go, no need to be stressed, gotta take it home day. I really miss the shade of blue. Ooh, just Next, I'm going to take a buffer block and I'm going to gently buff off the rest of the extension that is on my nail. After I buff off everything on my nail, I'm going to take this nail brush and wash my hands and use this nail brush to get any of that spots that I missed. Then I'm going to finish off with my favorite cuticle oil. This is going to bring back moisture and hydration back to my skin and nails after using acetone. This removal method can also be used to remove any kind of nails like acrylic, dip, or any gel on your nails. And this is what my nails look like right after removal. Hope you found this video very helpful when it comes to removing your gel excess. In my next video, I'll be showing you how I apply these gel extensions using the same method as my previous video, but this time I'll be using medium almond extensions. If you like this video, hit the like button and let us know what other nail content you would like to see and hit the subscribe button and post notifications. We are planning to post way more content on here including nail videos and couple vlogs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.